Okay, good afternoon. Uh, thanks for coming. Xiao uh, Hao. My name is Eric Chen. I'm the CEO of Profit Store Data Services. And uh, this session, we will talk about Profit Store Federator, uh, that is, uh, which is a software defined storage platform for OpenStack. Uh, exactly uh, who is Falcon Store? Uh, we are actually a group of uh, storage and service veterans that have been. Uh, working together, the core team has been working together for more than 10 years. Uh, we have been working in mission critical storage systems, so we are very proud of that. Uh, we can bring in that type of uh, uh, enterprise grade services to uh, OpenStack. Uh, we are here to challenge the status quo of storage management in SOA defined data center. Uh, and we are headquartered in uh, Milpitas, California, and we have teams across Asia Pacific regions. Uh, we actually emerged from a two years stealth mode yesterday. So, uh, although we are brand new uh, from our uh, look, but we have been working on the product for more than two years. Uh, what is Profit Store Federator, the product that I'm going to introduce now? It is actually the first software-defined storage for OpenStack. And it is a sophisticated storage management solution with a single panel glass for promoting the wider acceptance of OpenStack. We understand a storage is a very complicated issue in the data center as well as in a public or private cloud. We are here to provide a simple, a simple solution for that. So before we came in, uh, this is OpenStack, as you can see. And if you walk into a data center or into, uh, into a cloud center, you can see many different kinds of storage, be it EMC, NetApp, Hitachi, Dell, or many other storage systems. They are all very good, except you have very different storage systems, very different storage managements. So each and every one of the vendor, they come up with a volume driver trying to connect into OpenStack and that result in a tangled wire. Not just the wiring, but also the management. Uh, you need to manage so many different kinds of storages. And I don't believe there's enough talent or enough people to really effectively manage all of them. So this is a chaos situation. Okay, what we are trying to do is to provide a flexible, intelligent, and standardized federator for managing all the storage systems uh, for OpenStack. Okay, so this is after. Okay. Still down here, is, you can see many different kinds of storage systems. Well, uh, just name a few up here. But with our federator, what we are trying to do is trying to come up with a single entrance into OpenStack and through the federator, we will be able, able to embrace all the storage systems here. Okay? In addition to that, we do have a way of making a commodity hardware, which is x86 based, and putting our, our uh, uh, storage server software into that uh, commodity hardware. We can turn that into a very intelligent storage that will work natively with our federator. So with this in mind, then this become a well-defined storage systems for OpenStack. Okay, this is where our logo came from. And the functions that provide those uh, 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 characteristics to federator would include the followings. Uh, that's discover, pool, classify, offer, and provisioning. We first discover all the storage connected through network. We will be able to pull all of them together and even import the pools inside each and individual storage systems. Then in addition to that, we provide a classification mechanism that classify those storage systems into different class of services. And then we offer that. We create an offering that match uh, the need uh, from the application. So it becomes kind of uh, application aware, and then we provision that to OpenStack and 
and then to the uh, compute uh, that that requires storages. So with this this in mind, um, this is all these functions will actually enable a very easy management of uh, the OpenStack storage issues. So we create a single pane of glass for management. All right. So with uh, Parfait Store Federator, we actually would like to take back the control and let you to define the storage the way you want it. Then we provide no vendor login, no functionalities lockdown, no system lockout, and provide equality and freedom, meaning that we manage these storages equally and freedom from the vendor login by providing additional storage systems based on commodity hardware. Okay. So we are well uh, connected with each and every one of the components within uh, OpenStack. So as you can see here from this picture, the Federator uh, has a volume driver into Cinder. It actually utilizes key, uh, Keystone for the security. We even provide a way of moving the image uh, uh, from uh, to volume and volume back to image. Okay, so all these are well connected, and we are uh, designed uh, for OpenStack. Next, I want to talk about the demo. All right, this is a demo environment we are providing today. On the uh, upper left hand side, that's OpenStack. That's running on one machine. On the upper right hand side here, that shows two screens. One is for OpenStack. The other one is the console for managing the storages. That's our federator. Uh, I will be switching in between OpenStack uh, console and the federator console. On the left hand side, lower left hand side, you can see the federator itself. It's running as either as a VM or it's, it's installed on, uh, and on, on an appliance. And underneath here, you can see one network appliance. Uh, and the other one is a uh, profit store storage server uh, running our own software. And to showcase that we actually can manage diversified storages. So in terms of steps, we would like you to see uh, the management uh, following this flows. We will show you the OpenStack uh, console first and then come back to manage the storage using the federator. And, come, and from there, we can see all those storage uh, services. Then, then, coming back to OpenStack to show you that actually we can provide the source services uh, using the federator. Uh, by the way, the federator is the control path. It doesn't uh, encompass the the data path. So we have a separation of that. Okay. So here's a demo, and uh, please uh, contact us uh, at the uh, info at Profit Store. Uh, hold on, the, the sound. I need the sound. Can you? Uh, that, there's no sound. Okay, good. So first, we want to do the discover. As you can see here, uh, we are using protocols to, for auto discovery. And three storage are discovered. And we look into each and every one of them. OK, and then pull them together by pulling. So we import the pools that's already in that storage systems. And you can tag, label the, the pool that you, you just uh, 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 discover. Put in all kinds of information you want. OK? And then we classify that. Depending on the characteristic of the storage we discover, for example, on the first one here, we can even provide a testing tools. Okay. 
from the test, the result will show the I/O per seconds and other informations about that storages. Okay, so this is I/O per second. Yes, all of the second ones. Then we abstract, provide the information uh, for the uh, uh, provide offerings, meaning that the, what type of uh, classes of uh, storages we have here. We define those classes of uh, storages. We have the specification for that and specify the I/O per seconds. And uh, the offerings can be created on demand. You you can have predefined. Uh, offerings or on-demand creation of that. Then we provide that. Okay. Coming back to OpenStack, you can see that uh, those three storages have been discovered and then start to provide that to VMs. You can start allocate storages. Okay. For example, now we want to create a volume. This is all on OpenStack. In here, you can see that uh, the, we want to create a volume of, of, of a type that has uh, I/O per second of 10k, and you can you also could see other specification of that. And one gig, gigabyte of that has been created. Okay, yet another one. So you have two gigabytes of that type of storage. Now, coming back to Federator, we can check to see actually those two are created. We can you know, double check that on the Federator side. Okay, so we now have two volumes. Next, we want to allocate those storages and attach that uh, to an instance. And device name, we can specify the device name there. Okay. So with this, those uh, two drives, I mean two volumes have been uh, attached to one instance and we can uh, double check that through the instance uh, 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 console here. And of course we can detect, detach that. And then for after the detachment that's according to OpenStack, we can do snapshots. Okay, here, snapshot has been created, and we can create volume from that snapshot. Okay, so all of these are integrated. And in addition to that, we do provide uh, add-on functions to OpenStack. For example, on this case here, we can even roll back the volumes. This is a very critical for data protections, uh, especially for database. Once you make some mistakes, you want to roll back your database to the previous state, and then we can do that. So overall, this is uh, what, we, uh, what we can provide. Uh, and uh, hold on, not, not done yet. Okay. In the USB that we have distributed, we have an introduction video, and we do have one-click installations software, so you can try that out. So now I want to speed up the introduction. Is not storage is defined by hardware. What is it? Data keeps growing. Requirements keep changing. And traditional storage design keeps Okay, and that's us, and we are at the booth C18, so uh, you're welcome to, to come by to talk with us.
uh, to see a live demo. And if you have any questions, uh, we are here to answer them. Thank you very much.